Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for Monday morning, the 16th of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com for your latest signals and market updates from leading providers. And you can download the App Store, uh, you can download the app from the App Store at Google Play and uh, the Apple App Store. Okay, folks, now in terms of uh, the uh, European markets this morning, a uh, mixed response uh, in Asia overnight, uh, just to uh, give you an insight here, you've had the Shanghai up 0.8%, the Nikkei up 0.3%, Hang Seng up 0.5%, and the uh, all share ordinary, or the uh, basically the uh, S uh, Asian markets, certainly, obviously, uh, so Australian markets, should I say, uh, certainly up as well. So certainly a mixed message and now that's in response to the weaker chinese data out over the weekend so that certainly is a risk off scenario that should certainly weigh on commodities this morning so certainly watch out for that the uh, economic data certainly missed on all fronts we had the uh, retail sales foreign direct investment and industrial production all certainly down so all of those um certainly uh, weighing down on the uh, the actual market itself okay now in terms of the oil price, I think that's mainly the main variable that we're observing here now. Okay, so you can certainly see on the weekly basis, we did have the oil price certainly performing very bullishly and a potential test of $50 is on the horizon. But given the weaker Chinese data that we've obviously observed, given the fact that the daily chart obviously is into that uh, horizontal resistance level, which is currently around this $47 mark, Okay, although we have cracked, slightly cracked above it, so watch out for the uh, the actual resistance there. Now, again, if we do push higher, then you have 47.5, uh, potential 48, and previous support equals resistance at 47.6. So, certainly a lot of resistance above, uh, from my perspective, given the fact that we've had weaker Chinese data, that alone will certainly weigh on the index. So, certainly watch out for that. In terms of uh, German markets today, certainly closed due to Whit Monday. I think we've got the French CAC potentially closed as well, Swiss as well. So there's not going to be much uh, much volatility um, or liquidity. So again, that's going to weigh on the European markets. And like I said, weaker Chinese data certainly will weigh. Now, we did have US markets certainly close weak on the uh, on the Friday night. So again, that's certainly going to weigh as well. As you can see here, the S&P went down to uh, 2046 level now. The S&P certainly is uh, displaying a bearish price action given the weak HLS formation that we have on the daily chart. Now, that alone will certainly weigh on the uh, global market. So watch out for the H&S on the S&P. The neckline is at 2046. Now, if that cracks and we go below, then obviously that will send the FTSE 100 lower as well. Now, let's have a look at the FTSE 100 this morning. Okay, we've had a pivot low of uh, 6092 this morning on the uh, on the FTSE. Uh, again, like I said, 6060 is your bull bear line uh, on the FTSE 100. Okay, uh, and watch out for that zone. Now, if we go to the 10-minute chart, you can clearly see that we are carving out a mini little h &S formation here, so watch out for that potential pattern, folks. Left shoulder, head obviously has been put in here, looking for a right shoulder and obviously looking to flush. So uh, downside potential support and resistance you have uh, is uh, this zone here at 6106 down to uh, 6100. Now we have hit a pivot low of um, uh, 6091 today, so certainly watching out for 6091. Uh, and I did explain that uh, to subscribers that 6090 is a key zone, okay? 6090 is a key zone. So the gap hasn't been filled yet at 6136, so watch out for that potential gap fill. If the oil prices con continue to move higher, then that will certainly force, force the uh, price of uh, FTSE higher as well, so watch out for that. But for now, I do expect this uh, zone at 6080, 6090, and potentially 6060 to potentially be touched again on the back of weaker Chinese data, okay? So bear that in mind. Now, in terms of the daily chart on the FTSE 100, let's just have a look here. The bearish engulfing candle from the uh, May the 12th is certainly in control, and we have this diagonal trend line resistance as well. We do have this mini, <coughs> excuse me, we have this mini h &S formation here as well, folks, as you can see here, right shoulder, and obviously looking to potentially go lower. Now, if this h &S formation does play out, let's just potentially, uh, let's look at the uh, potential target, the downside, which obviously is in conformity with the h &S formation on the S&P 500 as well. So you have a 6070 as your neckline, you have a 6430 as your head. So 6430 minus 6070, looking at a potential target. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's see what we can muster. Okay, so you're looking at a 400 point drop. It's quite a drop that, okay. 
That's quite a drop. Okay. Okay. Bear with me. Hey, are you going to use calculator properly? Okay, this is 360. So you're looking at a 360 drop from here. Okay, so 6070 minus 360. So you're looking at 5710. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so your 5710 is your potential downside target. Now, and that's in the back of obviously Mr. Carney's comments uh, with regards to um, a lower growth and higher inflation. And obviously, a hawkish stance from him. Obviously, you have Brexit concerns as well, so a lot of uncertainty regarding that. And you do have a potential support zone here at uh, 5840, so again, that can certainly come into play. And then 5500, so a lot of uncertainty going forward. And again, that's going to potentially weigh. Again, given the fact that oil is into resistance, that again is another factor that will weigh on the actual index as well. So, uh, a lot of uh, reasons are, are for uh, the FTSE 100 to certainly move lower especially with regards to the price of oil, certainly uh, under pressure. Now, we did have some hawkish comments over the weekend as well, again, from the uh, Fed members. So, again, that certainly will weigh in terms of the US dollar index as well. Let me just bring up the dollar index for you. Let's just have a look here. Okay. I can find this uh, dollar index now. There we go. Okay, so dollar index on a <clears throat> daily chart, you are looking to potentially thrust higher up to 126. On the weekly chart, obviously, we already know that we are carving out a potential bottom. So, again, this is certainly going to be interesting to watch. We, we, we may well uh, obviously uh, break out here uh, given this uh, falling contracting wedge type pattern and push to the upside, and obviously causes the price of oil to fall, and etc. 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 So we all know what's going to happen next. Now, Brexit is probably the main fundamental catalyst for a flush in this market, on especially on the FTSE 100. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. In terms of Euro stocks, let's just have a look here. The daily chart, we certainly are trading sideways. Uh, now, again, given the fact that Euro USD is down to the 1.13 level, again, that's going to be favourable for, for European equity. So again, that's certainly something to, to take into consideration. Again, the German DAX rising, uh, contracting wedge or expanding wedge pattern again usually is considered bearish so again given the fact that the 60 minute chart is into that resistance at 9950 you are looking for a potential move lower the daily chart in the german dax at the moment is trading sideways and you do have multiple gaps to fill below so again it certainly is circumspect now the same type of pattern can be attributed here as well you have this left shoulder head right shoulder and obviously flush so again, you're supporting the H&S formation on the S&P 500 and the FTSE 100. Okay, so certainly, certainly something to think about. The French gap, yes, it's an inside bar, but we do have an unfilled gap below. Unfilled gap below. So two unfilled gaps below. Gaps below certainly is a, a strong argument for another flush lower. Okay, so again, from my perspective, certainly a move lower uh, is is warranted. Okay, uh, also with regards to the Nikkei, you can certainly see here you had a bearish engulfing candle. On the uh, on the Friday, uh, and certainly uh, no uh, uh, inherent strength at all today. So certainly not exactly a bullish sign. Now the uh, the actual Shanghai, the Shanghai index at the moment is just creating this bear flag formation, and you're looking to potentially move lower. And given the fact that you're looking to move lower on the Shanghai, then obviously that indicates that you are looking to move lower on global markets too. So again, it certainly isn't boding well. Okay, it does not look good at present. Okay. Uh, a lot of uh, headwinds are on the horizon. Now, in terms of the FTSE 250, we can always cross-reference the FTSE 250 as well. Same type of pattern, bearish consolidation, looking to potentially flush lower and test this support down here. So, certainly it doesn't look good from my perspective. Uh, bearish argument certainly can be made, but again, this market can change in, uh, very, very quickly. So, again, adhere to your economic data releases. Now, today, in terms of data releases, nothing major than the New York State Empire, nothing... Uh, housing market index not really important so even from the US front 
nothing really of importance now ju tuesday um you've got the uh, rbnz inflation expectation and rba meeting so again that's going to be interesting for the aussie overnight uh you've got japanese industrial production easy v private speech tomorrow uk will be important you've got retail rpi uh, inflation gauge uh, core output ppi cpi so again inflation gauge should give us an indication of how hawkish and dovish mr carney is uh, European trade balance, housing start, CPI, industrial production. So yes, a barrage of uh, US ATS tomorrow, uh, which will uh, help uh, ascertain and determine the actual direction in this market. But for now, bias remains bearish on the fact that we had weaker Chinese data, folks, and that will be uh, dictating sentiment, okay, for the next 24 hours from my perspective. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Okay, specialist in spread betting CFD brokerage and up to earn up to two and a half thousand pounds with the twenty five percent cash bonus. Goodbye.